Hi, welcome to my sixth update video of my HO scale model railroad. And here is the uh, engine house and hump yard um, tower and some of the uh, other areas that will be completed in the future. But we're going to continue around and we're going to get to the main feature of this video, which is the sawmill area. And here we have uh, two buildings and the office and storage and retail area, uh, specialty uh, area, loading area, and then the main sawmill building. And some of the uh, features that we have here is first of all our uh, infeed area and this is where the logs enter the sawmill. And here we have a system where the logs are going to be rolled off of the flat car and onto these logs and on larger sawmills they used a chain something called the infeed chain to bring the logs up to the carriage and this is the this is the carriage and the track and this is where the uh, this is what holds the logs that runs them through the saw and the control that's that the man is operating controls the carriage to go back and forth and it uh, the width setting or the depth of the boards is uh, adjusted uh, between the boards manually uh, by the handles on the carriage and this is uh, something from Woodland Scenics and however the track is a larger scale track that came uh, with the sawmill building kit and uh, so there's the infeed and this whole side here is generally reserved for the logs going into the sawmill and here I used a, a steam engine and I just added a nail uh, for the exhaust and here's a little shop area and I'm going to have that right off the track so they can unload supplies right off the track into the sawmill shop and here is where the finished boards come out and there it's a man standing in there and that's the outfeed and sometimes there's a belt uh, chains all different things but on this solid, smaller sawmill it is just uh, manually manually run and he's lo loading piling some boards over here to be picked up by the forklift and he's got another pile of different products inside there and then with this uh, setup that I have here he's also able to pile boards directly onto the forklift and these can be loaded right up right to the door of the boxcar and loaded right into the boxcar and uh, this is a 40s 50s era sawmill setup and most of the boards, finished boards, were piled in boxcars and delivered uh, to the consumer. In this case, uh, this could be shop lumber or this could go to a planer mill, uh, but it would have to be furnished further before it went into building construction because we don't have a, a planer operation with this sawmill. And here the office building has got a storage area for retail, lumber storage, or general uh, weatherproof lumber storage and there we have a couple workers uh, there's the front entrance and it's also got this uh, canopy for uh, loading or unloading specialty products and uh, with the boxcar and uh, anyway this was the uh, setup uh, that came with the uh, kits the craftsman kits and that's pretty much the whole the prototypical operation here and this would be considered to be a small to mid-sized sawmill uh, from the 40s and 50s it's not one of the large western type mills uh, that you'll see in a lot of real elaborate kits but these were commonly spread throughout the rural areas uh, places where they didn't have as much income and here we have the, the railroad uh, locomotive and I have uh, a bunch more track wired and we're just going to do one loop around the track and see how that goes here. I've had one bad area right there but looks like we made it. This is a new old stock F7 Athern which I is put together. I oiled it but I am still getting a little bit of noise and uh, it's just in the break-in period. 
so I may take it apart and uh, do a little bit more lubricating on it but here we come around the loop and there it is and all of my railroad stock is Midwestern Great Northern, Northern Pacific, Milwaukee Road, uh, Union Pacific and uh, that's kind of the stuff that I'm modeling here 40s and 50s I like to do and uh, even up until the early 60s because some of my rolling stock is that is that era so here we come there we go Coming around the hill there and through the village and now we're going past the buildings and we'll be coming up to the return here. These uh, new old stock F7s can be bought on eBay for $30 to $40 and I really like them because they have a lot of pulling power. Uh, they're easy to repair and maintain and uh, I find them highly affordable. And here we come with our load going into the tunnel. Here's one of the tunnels. Here's coming in. You can see I don't have much for clearance there, but there's there's enough for all my stuff. And here we are coming out of the tunnel. And the foreground's going to be a farm here, a kind of an old rundown farm. Here's the rest of the hills that I finished, and then I got kind of a cool hill I just finished back here. And uh, anyway, there we all have it, and thanks for watching.